You know, one of the questions I get asked often is, hey, can you link two different size bands together? And the answer to that is that we recommend you don't. And here's why. If I go ahead and I take a black band and I link it onto my pipe here, and now I go ahead and take my red band and hook it on and link it together using my link strap. Initially, as we're setting this up, what you're going to see is you got two different size bands. Now, what you have to remember is the starting resistance or what it takes to initiate the stretch of a certain band is going to vary based on the band thickness and strength. In order to initiate strength and stretch onto the black band, it's going to take about 25 to 30 pounds to just initiate the stretch. However, on the red band, it's only going to take about 10 to 15 pounds to initiate the stretch. So what happens is as I go to stretch, I can initiate the stretch sooner on the red band and more often and further. So as a result of that, the black band is not really getting stretched during this system. And if it is, it's very minimal. So what happens then is if you follow the two yard distance stretch on each band, you're going to obviously overstretch the red band because even though you're going two yards, or in this case, stretching it four yards, you're in reality going to be stretching this red band probably about three yards each time you train. So as a result of that, you're going to overstretch your bands when you link two bands together. Now, if you're monitoring it very closely, yes, you can probably get away with it. But our suggestion and our recommendation is you always link two similar bands together when you're training with a linked up system.